Cam here from Xeno Support, and today we're going to be going over that new UI, that new pop-up when you go ahead and modify your expressions. We're going to be going over the editor and the playground and demonstrating just how powerful it is. We'll be taking a look at the editor itself, but also the contexts. That is the ability to go ahead and supplement it with your own data from the function stack. Let's go ahead and get started. So getting started, I have this playground overview function that has an input of a number and then a get record where we're hard coding a value that we're just getting from our database, our listing data table specifically. We're also then creating a variable. The idea here in the next step of our function stack is to manipulate the items that we're getting through that get record. When we click on this create variable here and we hover over the value, we have this silver use expression text. And we also have this blue convert to expression button. We can click on either of these and it opens up the new editor playground expression UI. We start off in the editor where down below, we can go ahead and mouse over our inputs, our context variables that exist within our function stack, as well as our auth variable and our environment variables. We can click on them and we can just add them to our expression. So starting with just the input number, you can see here that we have the ability to tell what kind of type we're dealing with. That is, we have our integers, we have our bools, timestamps, texts, and so on. So once we have our data type or we have what we want in our expression to modify, we then can, well, modify it. On the right hand side, we have our transformers and learn expressions tab. This is going to help break down all of the cool things that you can do with the expression engine, such as applying filters or even manipulating your data even further, performing basic arithmetic and all of the lambdas and the higher order filters. You can substitute a lot of the JavaScript that you normally would write with expressions here. So. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and test our expression. Now, this is what the new UI provides. It lets us test our expressions without actually taking this logic and changing the function stack. Now, what we can do is we can go ahead and do two things here. So in the event we were wondering how to add with an add filter, we can go ahead and use this pipe and we can go ahead and write add, put a colon and then pass in our argument. So we can go ahead and add one we can either use this filter or we can go ahead and for arithmetic, just go ahead and use a plus sign and then write out two. Now I want to test this without putting it in my function stack. And I can do so by hovering over run and playground and clicking it or selecting the alt enter keys. As you see, when you hover over it, you could see that the input number plus two is going to equal 125 as it displays in this results window. Down below, we have our context. So this is what the UI is going to reference. It's not going to necessarily reference what we have in the function stack. It's going to take all of the different data types that we have in the function stack and supplement them with some test data. So we have our ID of one, two, three, or all integers that have the value of one, two, three, our bools, our texts, and our timestamps. We can modify this information. So specifically for our input number, we can say that it's going to be one. When we go ahead and select run, well, our variable value of one plus two is going to equal three. Now, of course, what if we want to have different scenarios and examples to test with? You're not just limited to one context window. Down below, you can either click create new context, which is going to create a blank context that it is still going to adhere to the structure of input object, our var object, our auth and environment variable object, but you can go ahead and select the insert new function stack context in the event that you are looking to go ahead and just very quickly get started. Now this content, of course, it can be supplemented with information from your function stack. So let's say, for instance, we want to take an input and we want to go ahead and add it to a value here. Well, what we can do now, we can also save this real quick. So if we wanted to go ahead and save this, let's say we want to go ahead and add these values. Well, first let's go back to our editor and let's click the update and close or the control plus enter hotkeys. You can see here that it adds to the value, the expression type to our create variable. We'll go ahead and click save. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get the content of my listing below our get listing. I'm simply just going to add a stop and debug. This stop and debug is going to return my listing. I'll click save, run and debug and just run it. I'll copy my JSON data here. I'll go ahead and disable this, open up my expression again by simply just clicking on it and navigating to my playground. I'll be able to head to my context where I'll select these blue curly brackets for that object that I'm trying to replace with my data and I'll just paste it in. The data is a little bit jumbled, so we'll go ahead and highlight it. 
and then select control K, control F, and then it formats it for us. Now back in our editor, I have the ability to take what's in my editor and select that run and playground button. What I'm going to do is just switch it back to that context variable here that now contains all of my information and this two value, I'm going to replace it with what exists inside and I'm going to replace it with the data that I just brought in. For instance, we have the ability to add our input number to our per night variable. So what I can do is I can write out the var listing and then take the per night variable. I'll go ahead and run this and we can see that it's going to be 203 because my number here of 123 plus my value of 80 is going to provide that output. We can take this number and we can go ahead and change that, of course, just can be dynamic, it can be modular, you can have ultimate control over supplementing and changing the data within these context windows. So you can go ahead and test these expressions without having to put them inside your function stack where you would then change that business logic. We silo this information so you can go ahead and run this and test this as many times as you'd like without updating the information or the variables within your function stack. So back in my editor, I'll go ahead and just remove that to value and I'll add that per night. Now I'll update and close. I know it works. I'll go ahead and click save. And now let's go ahead and change our output here to X1 so we can see what that value is. It's going to be the number three plus 80. So we get 83. We can of course change this as many times as we want. We know it's going to work. We wrote that expression. You have the ability to use written syntax with our expression editor, as well as the no code visual editor to be fast, to build and to scale on a backend that does it all. So there you have it. With a new UI, you have the ability to be able to create these expressions very easily and test them without having to impact your actual business logic that exists within that function stack, allowing you to build fast, iterate fast, and also scale on a backend that does it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those within the comments section below or reach out to us within our community. You can also go ahead and start a support chat here within your instance by just clicking on the support chat link. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching.